everyone. I wanted to give you a review and setup of my Happy Planner pen case. This was just released a few weeks ago and this was one of the things that I was most excited about with the latest launch. It comes in two colors, mint, which is what I bought obviously, and then salmon. It retails for $24.99 and obviously like many of you, I did not pay full price. I got mine for 50% off. I'm going to be referring to the Kipling 100 pen case because Everyone's familiar with that, and obviously with the dimensions here, it's very comparable to the Kipling. Unfortunately, I gave mine to my niece about a year ago, so I don't have that to actually show you, but I will be referring to that, like I said. So from the beginning, as you can see, very plain colors. There's nothing on the back. With the Kipling, obviously, you get so many different colors. However, the Kipling is has a little bit different setup as well as it is more expensive than the Happy Planner case. I would say as far as the fabric is concerned, I think the Happy Planner is going to be extremely durable, but I think that the Kipling actually has better fabric. It just felt a lot more sturdy, durable, rip resistant, tear resistant, stain resistant, whatever you wanna call it. If you've felt the Kipling and the Happy Planner, you know what I'm talking about. This to me, it feels like it's going to be hold up to wear and tear, but I am so hard on things. I am a little bit concerned about ripping it, tearing it kind of accidentally, as well as some staining. So I probably will end up putting some stain guard or something on this. Here is the depth of it. I have a tendency to really stuff slash overstuff my things so you can see how much it can hold here. It does have a plastic zipper. I do like that the zipper matches the color of the case. I am a seamstress, so this is something I am really pay attention to. I'm kind of particular about this, but it, and if this is not just because I have it so stuffed, but as you can see, the zipper is not exactly in the center. And even when I've taken my stuff out, so I think as far as the construction, they could have done a little bit better job as far as when they, they are sewing the zipper on. And I know that that is something very picky. That is just me because I'm a seamstress, but that's what the zipper looks like. It's got a really nice zipper pull. This is metal, so it's a very durable. I will say as far as the zipper is concerned, I have had a little bit of snagging or catching on some things, and that was when it was brand new and I didn't have a single thing in here. Also, because I do like to have so much stuff in here that that's probably one of the reasons, but I will say that the more that I've used it, the less problems I've had with that. So that's just something I'm very particular about as well. And the handle, I like the, as you can see, I can easily fit my hand in here. I just have normal size hands, but if you've got you know larger hands, I think that's nice spacing in between here. The handle is made out of the exact same fabric as this. And I think they could have done a better job with the actual handle. There's no interfacing or stuffing or anything, any more durability on the handle. As you can see, you can, it's, um, you can bend it easily. So I think that th they could have made this a, a little bit sturdier. And then this little chain right here, I just kept on here. This is where the tag was. And I just kept this on here in case I wanted to put a charm or something on here at a later date. So let's go ahead and open this up now. And I will show you what I have in here. Since this is a Happy Planner brand, I, I don't want to say every, obviously not everything in here is Happy Planner, but I do have a tendency to kind of match up the brands with whatever they are. So I do have a lot of Happy Planner stuff in here. With this elastic pocket, the difference is, the main difference is actually, let me talk about the, with the Kipling, is that the Kipling only had pen loops on one side of the flap. They also had pen loops over here. And this was kind of wasted space if you saw my review on that, and that was just something I didn't really, it was kind of confusing to me why they didn't do anything with that, but I do like the Happy Planner setup where all of the pen loops are on the flap right here, and they've got two elastic pockets, one right here and then one in the back. So on this first elastic pocket, I have a deco pen, and I do have some Happy Planner deco pens, which I'll show you. This one didn't fit in. This is a I think this is a farm. I live in the Midwest, so there's farms everywhere. I thought that was really cute. I also have a repositionable glue stick in here because I like repositionable things. Then I have just a regular whiteout pen. These are smash scissors, which I really like because they're very compact and they're not too big. So in case I need some scissors. 
And then I've got my smash pens in here as well, blue one, and then this one's black. They also have a pink one, but I don't like to write in pink, so I didn't buy that one. And the glue sticks on the back of these, I've either used up or they have dried out because I've had these for a while, which is another reason why I have glue stick in there. But also these were not repositionable glue. And then I've got my two favorite Sharpies, the double-sided with the fine and the extra fine point. As far as permanent markers are concerned, I really don't use any other colors besides blue and black. So that's why I just have those in there. I have a Martha Stewart notepad with the discs, as you can see. And here is where I have kind of tried out some of the deco pens. I really like the disc system because it seems to me, at least in my experience, the three disc systems that I've tried, they're all interchangeable, which I really love. So the Martha Stewart pads and the arc do fit in the happy planner which I really like so these are the ones I'm trying to use up before I use up my happy planner notepads like this and then I have the mini dashboards in here I'm using my pink one I just put that one into my mini just be happy peony so I've got the clear and the blue in here and the stickers and then I've also got an extra magnetic bookmark that came with one of my happy planners that I'm not using right now in case you're wondering the regular dashboards the plastic ones they don't fit in here only because of the tabs. The tabs make it so it sticks out and they, you can't close it. Okay, so that's in the very first one. And then if you've been following along my journey for this entire year, you know that I've been trying to use up a lot of my cheap and lower quality and less favorite pens. So I started off the year with, I think, close to 50 pens, and this is all that I have left. So I'm really proud of myself. I'm happy that I have used all those up. I honestly don't think I'm going to be able to use all of these up because we only have six weeks left of the year, but for sure I think I'll be able to use at least four of these. These white gel pens, I really just don't use white very often. The yellow kind of only shows up if I'm highlighting in a magazine. And then this pink one, I haven't really found any paper or anything that works very well. It's such a light pink color that even on the dark paper it doesn't really show up very well. So anyway, and then these pens I think I'll be able to use up at least one. So there's a little mini planner goals update for you. So I want I wanted these front and center to remember to use them. And then on the back I have all of my happy planner pens. These two white ones, the one of the stripes and then this black one all came in a pen set that I bought that I really like. And then one of the stripes came with one of my planner sets. And then I think this one came with the faith planner. Just that this one is, these are kind of interesting. I'll show you these if you haven't seen these before. So this one is kind of like an oblong shape. So it's an oval shape right there. And then these are just like a Statler. They're just a, a really fine marker felt tip pen. So I really do like these, but I'm just not using them right now because I'm trying to use up the other ones. But I do have these here. Then I have my plastic tweezers for sometimes when I use like mini stickers, they're really kind of hard to put down. So that's for what that is for. And then I've got this, which is, you probably won't be able to tell. It's got a really teeny tiny razor blade on it. And I don't want to touch it because I have cut myself before, but I just use that for sometimes there's just a little spot where I just need to cut and I don't really like scissors are too big for it. And then this is the Hobonichi glue pen, if you haven't seen that. It looks just like a maybe a 1.0 type of tip. And it's just, it's glue. And it's really great for sometimes you have that little teeny tiny piece of washi tape or sticker that's not sticking all the way down. So it's great for that because a regular glue stick is too fat. So that's what I have in here. And then in this, the bigger section back here, this is one of the things that I struggled with with the Kipling because I was looking for pen storage at the time. But here I just have some Happy Planner supplies, as you can see. I've got just some tape. I'll show you in just a second what I'm, I'm using that for. And then I just have extra discs right here. These are extender discs. And I just bought these because these were on sale. And I will be needing these in January when the rest of the Happy Planner stickers come out to make my third sticker book. So I just have that stored right there. And then I just have a photo album plastic storage to keep all of my deco pens. So these four, the two blacks, the pink one, and the turquoise one are all Happy Planner brand. They do have a lot more than this. I think somewhere about 10 to 12 total. But these four are the ones I knew for sure that I was going to use. And then I've got a couple other. These white ones are a different brand as well as this little yellow one. But these, this is my total collection of deco pens. So I thought that would be great to have them all together. 
I've got some extra discs right here because I switched out one of my happy planners to extender discs. And then these are all the refills that you come when you buy the deco pen. Each deco pen comes with two. And if you're not familiar, these are exposed, which means they're very sticky. And so they, they do kind of stick on a paper if you just have these loose, which is why I have these in here. I didn't want that. I didn't want to have that stuck or lose any of my cute deco. And then the only other thing I have in there are these, which are also Happy Planner. And these are kind of like the Erin Condren coil clips, but the disc version, the Happy Planner disc version. And I don't have a Happy Planner punch because I really, I have like a couple sheets that I want to put into one of my planners. And I, I just really can't justify a $40 punch right now for just a few sheets of paper. So I bought these instead because these were only a couple dollars and I'm just going to use repositionable double-sided sticky tape for once, obviously one side for onto here and then the other side will stick onto the piece of paper. So I'll just put those right into my happy planner. So that's, I have these in here because they're kind of unruly. They're hard to store. So let me shut this back up so I have all of that in there because these are the kind of the, the things that I need to keep contained. This does make it really bulky but I don't really have another solution right now. So I feel like there's not a lot of, um, it's not as streamlined as I would like it to be. I think there's, you know, some wasted space right here, but I'm sure my setup is going to change over time, but this is how I have it so far. And then this last one, this is the, the big difference also with the Kipling is that the Happy Planner has another elastic pocket right here. And I just have the current sticker book, the one that just came out with the new launch. All the other ones are currently coming out in January. I have used a few of these stickers already, but I'm just waiting to make this into a sticker book till I have more. There's some stickers that I've used right there. And then I have got some used Martha Stewart notepad papers right here because I am considering making another sticker book with my teacher stickers. So I think this would be a perfect, those would be a perfect size for it. And I like to reuse things. So, there is my setup. I really do like this. I'm really excited about it. So thanks for watching you guys and I will talk to you again soon.